Good morning from our final day at Alani at Disney Resort. It is a beautiful early Sunday morning. Got up and claimed some chairs at about 5 a.m. 4.45 I think is what they said. Um, just because some of our party was awake and they weren't the first people out here so we got the second set of chairs but I'll show you the morning view this will be the view from our chairs for the day there are a lot of people out and claiming chairs and the weather's beautiful so it's nice out here and uh, we'll see what adventures lie ahead for our final day at the resort. We fly out tomorrow morning, so we'll get to sleep tonight, wake up, and head out. It's been a great trip, and uh, we'll save that for a little bit later. Didn't get to do a ending for Roy's last night. Really good food, great service, very attentive. Um, restaurant was pretty busy. It is at the golf course, and there was a lot of people there, but you know, food all came out fast, and no issues with really anything. Our server, we do think, was kind of new, and she did forget a couple items, and uh, you know, forget a couple things here and there, but very attentive and fixed it real quick, and actually comped a couple of things. I had ordered uh, the shrimp tempura that just never came out, and uh, came out like the end of our meal almost the same time as the desserts did um so it was still good but just wrong order of things and no big deal um one of the drinks that somebody had ordered just never showed up and uh the manager brought it over and comped it so it was like great service recovery you know good service and then good service recovery for the little things that weren't really bad so all in all a really good meal and uh, everyone had a good time and, and then we came back to the hotel and collected everyone's kids and pretty much went to bed um i th think i looked at the clock around like 8 39 and we were already laying down so you know bed early but up early and go from there so good night at roy's and a good meal and here we go from the rest of it Jason's way up there showing us, showing us where they are in the balcony. Can't zoom in on here. Nathan, Nathan, come to his head out. It's an open balcony. Very far. I saw his hand briefly a second ago. There he is. I lost him again. Oh, there he is. There he is. I see him. We saw you here. We're in front of our partner here. Tell him to reach out. Leave your hand there. Leave your hand out. Leave your hand out real far. And what? Nice. Good
our way up okay. and then just kind of like wait outside okay. while that works. Yeah. That works. Thank okay. you. Well, we are going to go tour the Grand Villa real quick. See what that looks like. So we are up on the 10th floor looking down. And if you look out between the buildings, you'll see Diamond Head. We've seen those giant koi a couple times, but keep forgetting when we're right beside them. It gives you an idea of how busy or not busy the Lazy River is. It kind of gets bunched up in parts, but there's a lot of open space out there. So you can kind of see the entire Lazy River here. So you start in the top right corner there come around go through a couple bends here and then down and over here around and then a long stretch back and through the tunnel and then there is the slide you can kind of see the open area of the slide there there's two slides up there that I haven't done. <laughs> Just haven't wanted to wait in the line. It hasn't been too terrible, but I'm like laying around in the lazy river going, man, I'm good. Alright, we are going in homo. So this is the Grand Villa. Wow. Wow. Oh my goodness. So there is the view and a gigantic balcony. Wow. So this week's 12. And let me get Bill and I for you so you can look out here. I mean, you gotta mm -hmm. feel the full effect. So this sleeps 12. And wow, it is a full, all the way across. Amazing. And the view is amazing from up here. Is the kitchen and bar, so a three chair bar. And the full kitchen. Giant countertop serving area. Absolutely huge. And then dining over here. And then I think this is going to be the side by side washer and dryer. Oh no, it's a sagable washer and dryer and like a laundry closet. Here's the other entrance. So this is the king bedded room. Same type of bath that we have in our two bedroom. Oh wow. So this is the two bedded room. Two bedded room. Another bath. And then another two beds. With another 
set of bathrooms. So plenty of room to spread out. After that amazing tour of the Grand Villa, we definitely have thoughts and dreams and hopes that we'll be able to stay there someday. And since one of us bought a new contract, we might be able to. But it wasn't Colorado Family Travels. After years of pestering and telling them that it would be a great idea for her and her family, our friend Jesse bought a contract while on vacation with us. And we have made reservations to now go to Disney World together. So the uh, goal of us sharing our love and uh, adventures at Disney has now spread to Jesse and her family as they are the newest DVC members. Gotta love it. Next up, we have some video graciously provided by Have Mitt Will Travel. They were able to do a scuba excursion while we were doing this room tour, just kind of hanging out. The scuba excursion was booked through Trident Adventures, and they are just down the road in Koalina. And this video is from the scuba dive boat tour. Um, they do have a beginning dive called First Time Diver Discovery Scuba Diving, but two members of our party are experienced divers and have dived at multiple locations. So they did sign up for this again, Trident Adventures, and it was called the Scuba Dive Boat. So it was not booked through Disney, it was booked directly through Trident Adventures, and I hope you enjoy their videos. Infinity pool. Didn't think this used to be the Stingray Lagoon. But it's been just relaxing. Took a little nap on the chair. We're all still just hanging out at the beach. Gone back and forth a couple different times. The girls are still touring the villas. Thought it'd be a good time to just sit here and reflect for a minute. About two o'clock, a little after two o'clock. It's been a great, just relaxing day, great way to finish up the trip. Nowhere to go, nowhere to be, just enjoying. Didn't do a couple different things, so kind of leaves us some things to do on the next trip, that's for sure. We, we discussed and talked and think that, uh, you know, this could be a every two three year type adventure you know not disney world not every six months not the cruise where we could do every year if we could afford it all right we can view this for a minute but yeah we think you know, every two three years three four years it'd be good to come back out here we thought that uh staying at another resort for a couple days and doing the swap meet the pearl harbors and the honolulu's and the north shores on those days that way when we're at alani we can just do alani you know the first couple days we're spending the afternoons off site 
and looking for meals and then you know we do the swap meet in the morning and we'd be gone for like five hours get back here around two o'clock um, one tip they had pools closed down early uh, lazy river shuts at 6 p.m and the pools close at eight so you know i like to swim later and that's just not an option here so i mean i guess you can go in the ocean if you really want to but uh the pools close kind of early so that was a little bit of a surprise the first couple days that you know, just when you think that the you know night at the uh, lazy river would be pretty cool it's closed so you can't enjoy the different lights and stuff that are going on but not too bad, you know, so things we missed. We didn't do the uh, reef. We didn't do, do the snorkeling. Just never uh, found a want to do it, I guess. You know, there was a line this morning. We had contemplated doing it today and just doing it one day, but there was a line this morning. We're like, we're enjoying the lazy river. We're enjoying the uh, just hot tubs and pools. So decided not to do the reef. Um, just wasn't in it. Still haven't done the water slides. I've, you know, have an opportunity to go wait in the line if I want to, but have not done the water slides. Might see if the kids will do them and take the uh, camera just to do it. But I'm having fun, so I'm not, uh, I'm not looking for that thrill of the water slide. I guess. So, yeah. I think we've done everything else that we wanted to do. You know, enjoyed everything here at the resort that we could think of. We still are going to get a Dole Whip here. Uh, probably in the next half an hour or so go get a dole whip and enjoy that and then we'll have to do something for dinner tonight I'm not sure if we're gonna do something here at the resort or maybe walk over to abc and do maybe monkey pod i don't know we haven't really talked a whole lot we just knew the plan was to come sit at the pool today and have a good time so we'll go but you know, watch the waves crash for a minute and just had a really good relaxing trip a lot of activities to start with and then some relaxation time to end with and ran out of time you know, seven days thought we had all this time in the world to get things done then you realize no not really i would be getting up early but going to bed at a kind of normal hour i guess 9 30 10 o'clock but i guess when you're coming from disney and you're used to doing the go 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 morning tonight Def definitely a different type of travel. All right, so I'm going into the zero entry pool. You walk right into this one, no stairs, zero entry. Have not been in this pool yet. I figured, hey, better do it. So, the pools are nice and warm, walk in and out, no problems. Looks like the deepest point is probably three feet. Maybe a little deeper over on the back side here, but I was actually walking just to find the kids. I'm like, you know what? Haven't even been in this pool. Might as well go. It looks like, yeah, 3.6 inches is about the deepest. So there's a little cove over here, and I think this is where one of the water slides exits. I'm going to walk over here. All the pools are very nice. It seems to be getting a little deeper over here. Yeah, I think this is the exit for the slide, so people are just standing over here waiting for the parties to get off. I thought for three seconds I might go on the water slide, but there's a line, and I just don't feel like waiting in line. Now, if the kids want to wait in line, that's fine. That's just not my style. I'm good. <laughs> how you guys doing? Good, how are you? Doing great. Love you guys. Walking around, all of a sudden I thought I heard my nephew. I look over in Lazy River and there's my niece, my nephew, and one of my daughters 
floating around the lazy river so that's kind of awesome to just be randomly walking around there's my kids having a great time in the lazy river awesome awesome now i'm standing over by the koi pond and look at these giant koi fish these are beautiful very large koi fish very beautiful over here the lobby in the background wow amazing 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 different side of the koi pond different colored fish over here this is the back side of makahiki and bottom of the lobby area big old koi fish and now it's time for a dole whip all right i got the watermelon dole whip jasmine what'd you get i got the watermelon stitch sundae that's gonna be all nice. watermelon stitch yes okay is this for a watermelon pineapple yeah what? feels like seven days ago because it was seven days ago we ate at ulu cafe okay, awesome. Thank you. and we have not been back so i'm gonna walk through real quick So the breakfast menu. The all day menu. Jennifer. Jennifer. So breakfast all day, and here's the pizza menu again. Cheese steak is the pizza of the day. We'll walk inside real quick. The same menus again. And here's the counter. So three fifty for the iced teas, four fifty for Coke products and Powerade. Water is four dollars. We got some salads. $14 for the chicken Caesar. Chef salad, $14. Chicken katsu sandwich for $12. A crazy salad for $12. Some different teas and juices. The more Coke products. First time I've seen Orange Fanta this trip. I haven't seen Orange Fanta before. Over here is the refillable popcorn sand bucket. Donald, Mickey, Minnie, Goofy, Pluto. So over here we've got some fresh fruits. For $8, some hard boiled eggs. Charcuterie platter, cheese, almonds, and grapes. Coconut chai pudding and berries you got your fruits three dollar whole fruit for two bananas you got some desserts and some pastries croissant for five dollars cookies for four dollars you got some chips Hawaiian style chips for four dollars Mickey shaped hot cocoa bomb. And Alani Goofy's Candy Company, it looks like. So that's Alani's version of it. Got ice cream over here. Mickey, and Mickey premium ice cream bars. Yeah. 
And then you got your KK Corner for drinks for the kids' meals. And oh, there's your coffees and sugars and creams. And here's some candy bars for 325. And that's what you can find inside the restaurant area for Ulu Cafe. All right, nothing like waiting until the last night and the last hour to finally do a shopping tour. We are at Galapa's store. This is the main Disney merchandise store. So we'll walk through just quickly. So there's still some 2021 items, but not a lot. And definitely limited sizes on the 2021 stuff. Uh, only up to large on both sides. Uh, I guess there's one extra large on the yellow. So the 2021 merchandise is very limited. Uh, is this a water wallet? Yeah, it's a 2021 Alani water wallet. Uh, that's the 2021 merchandise at the front of the store. And then the Alani Duffy and Friends items are buy one, get one. So we have picked up a couple different Duffy items. You can pick up clothes and the grocery bags and the plushes. But all the Duffy and Friends items are buy one, get one. Big and small, keychains, everything. You buy one, get one. They do have some Alani logoed items but not a whole lot and again the sizes they are not very poo size friendly they go up to 2x and that's about it there's very few shirts that are available in a larger size the crazy brand the crazy brand shirts do go up to 3x but none of those were interesting to me my coffee mugs. More, a couple more Duffy and Friends items with the Stella Lou. I think is the bunny, right? Yeah, Stella Lou. <laughs> oh, Lonnie, many hoonies. I like that setup. They do have a lot of spirit jerseys, though some different styles and cuts. Some long sleeve shirts. I do like the shirts. I can't fit in the shirts, but I do like them. Make sure that nothing has changed. Nope, still nothing in my size. Some really nice shirts. I like this Alani shirt is very nice. It is currently $40. And then the Spirit Jersey is $55. Oh, let's go look at that. So we have the mouse here, hats, and they do have embroidery available so you can you can get the uh, embroidery on your mouse ear hats here. And then the ear headbands are $30. Those are powerful special plants. They have the normal face masks. They no longer have any of the special Alani face masks. They are sold out of those and they will not be replacing that stock from what they tell us. Some other ears. Oh, 
Brown schwas they have available here. There's some more Alani shirts. These are the ones that are available in my size. But they don't say anything about Alani except for the tag that's inside behind your neck. So wouldn't even be able to tell that they were Alani branded. So there's some cool, cool designs. This matching shirt set with dresses and shirts is really cool. And up to 2X. So it would have been very tight on me, but a cute little underwater snow globe. It's a cool backpack. And again, just in case I haven't heard it or you haven't said it in one of the videos, no stores on the island give out bags. So the reusable shopping bags are on sale everywhere. And we've seen them from $5 to, I think I paid 15 cents for the one at the Dole Plantation the other day. I think I paid 15 cents and my mom paid 16 cents because we got different colors. So that is what I see at the merchandise. This is a couple. I like this tumbler, that's nice. PJ sets. But that is for the merchandise that I see over here in this section. There's one more merchandise store that I'll walk over to, but let's check out the food in this section. Oh, you can get Lunchables. Yeah, milk and chocolate milks. Water is the first time I've seen the liter water, so 1.5 liter for 375. That's not too bad. Drinks and sodas 299. Powerade 469. Are some alcoholic beverages up here? Mickey premium bars, some ice cream sandwiches, Hagen Dazs. And there's your chips and your goofy candy company stuff. Has dispensers. You got special Alani chocolates. And those are cookies. And then your candy bars. And more snacks. And that's what they have for sale here. A couple of the sundry items. Wrist uh, scope. These are the sundries they have available. Huggies wipes, Q-tips, Kleenex, your Tylenol, your Benadryl. Advils and Pepto. That's the options that they have available. We bought two wishables and we got the spam and the shaved ice. Jen did feel every bag to try to find the difference and we found the ones we were looking for. And further to I guess the south side of the resort around the corner from the main gift shop is the fine apparel and gifts. So if you come to Hawaii and you need to buy a dish set, well, I'm sure. So it looks like another spirit jersey. Here's matching dress and shirts. So. 
the men's is 129. It does have subtle Olani themes. Here's your Dooney, your resort Dooney. Another matching set. These go up to 2x. And then these are all the Tommy Bahama shirts you can get at the Disney parks. So these are available not just at Alani, but all the different Disney resorts. I've seen them at Contemporary. I've seen them at a couple different. These are Nike dry fit shirts. And with the Alani branded. Now... I did buy this shirt. I tried it on. It is a little snug, but it's better than most 2X fits. So, but I had to get it because it was Alani branded and it actually fit as a 2X. So it's not perfect, but not bad either. A couple more family style shirts where you get one for each member of the family. Um, Maui Jim sunglasses. More of your finer items over here. Spirit jersey. Here is the Alani Duty and Boot print. Looks like there's still two different prints right now. Shaved ice. Your bathrobes for 140. All your Disney H2O products are over here. And here is some more of the dry fit in a different cut. A couple more resort, resort shirts. This one's going for $28. it for merchandise at the resort so not a whole lot of specific merchandise um, at this time you know we've seen merchandise pop up at Disney World um, so maybe they're still like popping merchandise at different places and not a whole lot here at Alani itself um, we'll see if that changes but you know, definitely some items you know some take home some souvenirs but not as much as I expected and definitely not sizes I expected. I, you know, typically there's at least one shirt, you know, the, the annual shirt that runs in larger sizes. And I just have not seen that here. So, you know, oh, well, uh, maybe it'll change in the future, but that is merchandise. And you know what? It is 930 the night before we fly out. We fly out in the morning. So I'm going to say that's a wrap on Alani at Disney Resort and Spa. It's been a great trip. I do a full closure tomorrow. We've got a travel day tomorrow. We've got, we're flying to San Diego and then home to Denver, but uh, you know, we're done. So we'll do a follow up later and uh, you know, finish out this trip, but we'll turn around show the lobby and uh, head out. This is walking over toward the check-in desk. This is kind of cool. Again, the open air out to the pool in the ocean over there. Uh, this is the check-in area. And that's it. So we will say good night and see you in the morning. Now for us, it's back to the rat race. <laughs>